Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. All right, so next up is Rafiq. Um, Rafiq has done the most awesome. I'll just let him talk about it. This is such a cool project, uh, also in LA. So all my speakers are like design in LA. So something's going on in LA, which was probably always going on. But um, Rafiq is at UCLA, uh, just started teaching there maybe a week ago. And uh, welcome. Thank you. Super excited. Sorry, sorry for uh, this microphone. I'm, I'm Rafiq Anadol. Um, recent graduate from UCLA Design Media Arts Department. And today, as a consequences concept, I would like to show this photography. It's maybe reflecting, but I am there with a shirt at Microsoft Research Summit Design Expo um, 2013. And actually, that day was my one of the important day that I would like to show my master, as a graduate student and master of fine arts degree, one of my dream, how it came alive and how that changed my life. And I would like to show the process in a very quick way. So I started as a media artist in Turkey, Istanbul, and uh, like most of the teenage, most of us, I was dreaming a lot about and bored about the reality that we are always in and the language we have and these like limitations of reality. And then I started like exploring like artificial photography and then try to understand how I can create these third juxtapositions of reality by using visual communication design tools. And during this research uh, to create a graduation project, I just come up with Lebanon, which is one of the biggest uh, for me, a uh, wonderful quote that he was exploring this uh, in his Poetics of Augmented Space uh, piece about reality and how it was like actually uh, my biggest approach started to merge from there. And what he was basically saying is, in other words, artists along with artists can take the next logical step to consider the invisible space of electronic data flows as substance rather than just as a void, something that needs a structure, a politics, and a poetics. It was for me like a very excited moment to understand the world and the cities in a different, in a different perception. And as an artist, I was super lucky to have like one of the first contemporary art centers in 2008 in, in Turkey, Istanbul. And the architect was a very uh, young and collaborative person. And my idea was what happens if I have a chance to create the, my maybe first uh, artistic exploration by using this left building. It's by 100 years old uh, electronic, electric uh, creation uh, place in, in Istanbul. So the idea was just using projection as a tool and light as a material and to create one of, the, one of my first personal approach to this idea of using architecture as a canvas. And luckily it just helped me to meet uh, different people for different states and like first exploration with Sanas, their design school of design building in Germany, and then uh, has a chance to go Art Arts Electronics Festival to, to get into new, new worlds and understanding the uh, importance of software. Because each, so each each performance was asking for a new software. And in Istanbul, I have a chance to create my first data, data sculpture, Frozen Sun of the Istanbul's Sky Street. And then uh, I just thought that there will be maybe more to explore and decided to move to a Master of Fine Arts degree in the United States. And I apply, applied to UCLA and then started my new dream, which was the reason I was at Seattle to show. So Frankie was my one of the biggest inspirations as an architectural photographer. And my idea and dream was one night I saw that a building that just functions in a different than this. So what happens, I have a chance to hack the existing functionality of a building with a collaboration with a big teams and creating a whole new software that analyzes real-time sound of the whole Philharmonic Orchestra. Additionally, what happens, I was always, by the way, truly inspired from the musical experience in analog, in digital, in, in, in any kind of, but, but that was like kind of the dream that I was there at Seattle to show. And, and for the dream, I have a chance to create a very short demonstration of the idea to show how it was like working in like a, <laughs> on the plane, like creating all the, all the visuals to show. And I was the only <laughs> student on the stage that I didn't have any professor with me. And other teams were super strong and they were like really, really very powerful and very wonderful ideas. So basically, I just made these two ideas. One was the interior because I was also very inspired from the temporal quality of space is how to hack that uh, existing uh, function and, and make another juxtaposition by using right now projection but maybe feature any substance that makes that pixel awareness. And the second idea was, of course, if I have a chance to collaborate with such a, such a wonderful team and then I have maybe explore different opportunities starting from inside and get the uh, audience's feedback 
and how it was react, kind of an experimental uh, approach. Um, so basically, the whole space becomes like a temporarily immersive environment by using projection and also a pure analog experience of sound. And additionally, of course, the experiential in the public space by making a electronic just in outside and make a free public space event and activate the space through, again, the same technology. So shortly after the uh, very great, wonderful feedback from the Microsoft Search that great day, I just started to explore of course, how to do that. So I came up with two of my friends and started to build a custom software called VVVV4. It's open source and free, and just we just developed this whole idea into a one merge uh, software that can analyze in real time and also like get this 3D data from the oh, by the way, Gary like heard the project and his very positive feedback helped me to get the 3D data of the building because it was a super hard to remodel. And then, of course, <laughs> finding tons of ideas how to use a procedural, procedural ideas to, to, to make a visual music expanded cinema experience by using the, the whole space as a canvas. And tons of architectural implementations were super hard, like I have to learn how to use 5-axis CNC machine to, to make the building in almost uh, 1 by 20 size, almost this, this, this table. And because his model was handmade and not accurate, and the idea needs a super accurate uh, pipeline to prove that it, it may work. And luckily, last, this summer, I made this um, whole system running and as like a kind of a presentation for an MFA degree. And that helped me to, of course, start a new dialogue with the LA Philharmonic because it was a running like a prototype. And then <laughs> they just asked first, okay, let's start the idea by using temporal uh, installation inside the hall. And of course, it was not an <laughs> easy canvas. Actually, it was more challenging than the outdoor experience for two reasons. First of all, you are inside the experience and you have almost no distraction, plus the software needs to be super accurate. There is no way to be have an error and the whole performance in analog world is like like super perfect. So, so it's like a super, super, super uh, excited process. And I've never been such in a big spaces and also uh, what is this piece, Amerik is chosen to perform in 25 minutes as a Pegasus and was the conductor. He was super open-minded, and, and of course, the process in the hall was, I won like, in 12 hours, I have to install all the things with my very limited time and make this video mapping process super accurate, and at the same time, get the all real-time data. Additionally, Kinect was in, in the stage and dissolved with the other instruments to transfer uh, Esapeka's body motion into the story itself. It's all real-time running a system, and also Esapeka was super, uh, friendly in the process, but the idea was not using any kind of 3D scanning or like sorry, 3D tracking system that just he can veer. It's all about leaving the whole process truly natural and just this old 3D tracking system like the other 110 instruments. So I have a small, very short video for today, how it was uh, worked. And this is a small system and small MIDI keyboard and two laptops and lots of PCs and projectors. Very short video for you.
So, so thank you. Thank you. So, this is the first phase of the dream, and and having like, I mean, this was a very meaningful photo for me because it was my birthday night, and it was like the night that I, one dream happened, and also Frank, seeing Frank Gehry's face super heavy and like getting his positive feedback was another challenge. Um, I think the the best part of my experience was bringing architecture and music and media arts in a one kind of an idea together with the software and technology. It was super super experience to just open a new mind, like open my, my mind and to explore more. Got a very well reviews and, and feedbacks from different communities, but I think the most successful part of the uh, process was opening LA Philharmonic to get this big amount of uh, fund from one of their board members and a 10 million year mark for the discovery and innovation to make the next 10 years. And, and I think it was a very wonderful collaboration. So also as a media artist, I have a chance right now to open my studio and, and moving to Los Angeles and working with real-time GPS data for the Department of Transportation and make one of the first uh, my par permanent public art project. And thinking about feature, like how to create an art piece that runs 15 years with a day that is running in real time. And like super fun part is now starting and learning a lot and collaborating with different artists, also another Huge building, another public art project that's kind of exploring the new that idea of creating a, a real-time piece for public space and runs for a long time. And I would like to thank you so much for that wonderful day that just helped me to start a new career. And thank you so much. See you in the next stream. Yes, author is coming, so I'll give you. Sure. So, so the whole idea was creating uh, 25 minutes running a, a performance. Oh, sure. Sorry. So uh, we have uh, three super powerful, probably the world's brightest projectors because the material is Douglas fir, so it needs to be super bright to get to, to transform into a. Um, kind of a screen idea. And we have three super powerful machines and that runs the whole system in real time and a kind of a real time 3D analyzing system that, that transforms the whole uh, surfaces, polygon systems into that, that performing idea. Eight channel of sound, again in real time, and also like a, a connect as an add-on that is, so it's a whole like a generative timeline that is designed according to the notation, um, which SFK was super helpful to create this logic and embed into the uh, sonic experience. Um, for other, it will be getting more crazy. <laughs> but it's, yeah. Just. All right, well, thank you. That was great.